Hi guys. Um, oh Christ, what's happened here? <laughs> I've balls it up already, Dan. That one. There we go. Turn your mic on. We've got already here. Hello. There we go. <laughs> I'll do that laugh again. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to put the monitor on. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> Go on, try your intro again. On, Hi guys, go. we're back <laughs> for uh, uh, a, another WWE prediction stream. Uh, I know it's a bit early for uh, Royal Rumble, but it um, it's the only time we can do it really. We've balancing it around work and things like yeah. that. Um, so, how is Monsieur Daniel today? M Monsieur Daniel is okay. Monsieur Daniel is I went, okay. I went from, went from French to like weird Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so today we are going to be talking about... Almost. When I, there we go. Uh, we're going to be talking about um, Royal Rumble. We are. Uh, which we are. is going to be live on WWE Network on the 29th, if I'm right. Take your calendar out. Have a check. Twenty ninth. <laughs> it's the twenty ninth. It is the twenty ninth. Yeah, and um, obviously, there's been a few few matches already been announced. Um, we've had about fifteen, sixteen people already um, announced that they're going to be in the Royal Rumble. Um, so, if I go back to my screen, so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to be talking about obviously like each match, uh, who we think is going to win, um, what the outcome we think is going to be of Raw Rumble itself, and also then we're going to be talking about the first inductee into the Hall of Fame, which a lot of people already know who that is, um, but we will get onto that a bit later on. I'm sort of doing a little bit of a Michael Cole impression at the moment. Um, <laughs> so. Um, how was your Christmas, Dan? Christmas was lovely. Christmas was lovely, yes. It, it, was, it was very nice. Yes. Obviously, um, people haven't seen you since before then, since we did people our... People haven't seen me since, Christ, God, no, what, November? November, when we did the Tin Can Challenge and uh, Cars Against Humanity, which... Oh, yes, I think Early December. Yes, I Early. think Cars Against Humanity has just had over... Uh, just over 1,100 views now on, on YouTube, which... Thank you very much, guys, for all that. Um... And as well, obviously, thanks to everyone who. What the hell are you drinking? <laughs> oh, my apologies. I'm, I'm drinking Coke out of a jar with a straw. I should have got my skull one. I've got, I've got I, a very. I can't find my skull. Uh, you know the skull pint. I've yeah. Got well, I've got, I've got, I've got one of them jar ones with the straw in it in the shape of a skull. I should have had that one as well. Um, mm. No, uh, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who watched and followed me on the 12 hour stream that we did on Sunday uh, or Sunday yeah it was Sunday um, great response I mean I've never had so many people win the stream at once um, it was a great game to play as well I mean uh, I haven't actually finished yet but I have to admit that South Park Stick of, stick of Truth was fucking funny <laughs> <laughs> um, and obviously Dan thank you for your contribution as well Caught that right at the last minute, just as I clicked end, right, end the stream. Yeah. <laughs> clicked end the stream, and all of a sudden, my phone went ding, and a PayPal message came through from Dan. So, yeah, thank you for that as well. Um, I think in total, because there's still some money coming in for that, I think we've hit around about thirty, forty pounds worth in donations to the hospice, which is brilliant. Um, I need to close that because I didn't. Um, so yeah, so Voyal Vumble. Voyal the Vumble, the first pay per view of the year. Road to and WrestleMania starts now. One of our favourites. Definitely one of our favourites. I mean, I do like a bit of Royal Rumble. Like Always a bit of Royal Rumble. Like a bit of Royal Rumble. Especially as well to this year is the 30th anniversary, if I'm right. I think you're all right. 30th anniversary of Royal Rumble. So it's good. It should be a good one. Um. So the first match I've got on Wikipedia, because Wikipedia only has given me five matches, because that's all that has been announced so far. Yep. Um, for the Cruiserweight Championship, Rick Swan, the champion, versus Neville. Yes, Neville has 
has departed his ways from yeah. Raw and SmackDown and actually gone to 205 Live, which I think is better, really, because I think it's Neville... It's better because his cape was purple. That wasn't what I was going to say, but... He colour matches. <laughs> he blends into the mat now. Blends. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. He is one with the mat. He is one with the mat. Yeah, I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to say that the fact that he was purple. <laughs> what was that little laugh? <laughs> I don't know. In weird You're in a weird mood, though. Okay. Are you sure that's just coke in a glass? <laughs> yeah. No, I did have some JD and coke last night. But oh, okay. Um, I think having Neville in two hundred five live now is is better for him because I think he he was a bit underused. With his abilities and all that, a bit underused with uh, with the people he was against in uh, on the main roster and things like that. So um, I think he's better where he is. And do you think he has a shot at winning? Yes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> no. Uh, touching on what you said, the main roster isn't high risk anymore. No. In that sort of sense, it's not all high rope stuff anymore. Mm. And. Obviously, that's where cruiserweights come in. So, it was a good move. Yeah, to put him there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I do think he's got a shot. Mm. He, I mean, now that he's gone into cruiserweight, he's one of the more experienced. Yeah, I mean, um, I know. Obviously, Rich, Rich Swan, he, he's an amazing competitor. I mean, I've yeah. never seen anyone flip and jump the way he does. But um, obviously, well, that's good. Obviously, Neville has got the experience over bigger. People he, he fought against bigger people, and um, I don't think Rich has had that um, had that training against bigger and larger competitors. Mm. Where Neville's got got the advantage on that. Um, it's definitely going to be a very fast-paced match. There'd be a lot of backflips, and can I just say one thing? Jumps. You would be <laughs> you would be a great play-by-play guy. <laughs> what a lovely backflip there. What a lovely backflip and oh we did a star jump. <laughs> <laughs> and now Neville on the balancing beam. Balancing um, beam. <laughs> no, it, it will be because and it kinda of comes back to the fact that Neville deserves to be in cruise weight more than anywhere because that's what he's like. Yeah. But it will be high risk, high risk, high risk, high risk. Which is good. Yeah, which is good, that's what we want. Yeah. Especially as well if they open up Rumble with that match. Which I think they will. Probably. They yeah. either be that or the, or a tag team match. Obviously, we haven't actually had any tag team title matches announced, but that could be the first one, um, or yeah, it could I be think, a tag team one or whatever. I think it's the first, and it's fine to be the first one because it should get things off to a good, fast paced, bumpy start, and then yeah. we can get the crowd get, get get the crowd going. Outgoing. So we so we've agreed that Neville was going to become cruiserweight champion. I think he will be. Yeah. Yeah. I think he will. I think it will open up a lot more doors for him as well because uh, am I right in saying Neville's had never had a championship since he's been there? I can't think of one, so I'll say yes. Hmm. Um. So it would be good. Gone. He's gone for some. I think. I think he's gone. Continental and stuff. Yeah, but I don't think he's actually got anywhere. (coughs) NXT. Um, I don't think he was NXT champion. Hmm. I'll check that one up. Hang but on. No, I can't. Remember. Yeah. Um, hang on. I'll, I'll quickly. Um, oh, hang on. What am I doing? Let's uh, let's click on the little blue thing that goes to Neville's page. Um. Did, 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 did. Oh, don't get me wrong. I think he. Oh, go on. We tell a lie. He has held both NXT Championship and NXT Tag Team Championship, so we're both go. numpties. Um, <laughs> yeah, so he's won both NXT titles, um, but he's never actually won anything. Main roster. On main roster, um, which will be good, really, if he can get this cruiserweight title. Mm. Um. Next match is on here is the Raw Women's Championship. Obviously, the SmackDown Women's Championship hasn't been announced yet. Probably yep. will be announced. Probably, I would next say, week. on Tuesday. On Tuesday, yeah. Uh, on Tuesday next week. Um, Charlotte Flair versus Bailey. Yes. Obviously, everyone likes a bit of Bailey. Everyone likes a bit of Bailey. <laughs> everyone likes a bit of Bailey. Um, 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's this, this 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 whole Royal Rebel predictions stream is gonna be shit because I have not a clue about any of these. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you uh, you've said that because um, yeah, you don't know either. <laughs> but, uh, I know what I'd like to see, and that's Bailey. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I don't know if they think Bailey's ready yet, or not. It's what it's one of them. I mean, I I have a feeling that Bailey's going to get the upper hand. Uh, she's probably going to obviously get a one, two, three count, but the referee's not going to see it. But they are changing Charlotte slightly. Because they've changed her from Charlotte, and now she's like Charlotte Flair. For some reason, they put her last name back on there. Yeah. Um, but because it's the first pay per view of the year, I'm hoping they change her. I'm ho year. I'm hoping as well that it, we're not going to continue with Charlotte and Sasha, just backwards and forwards. Yeah. No. 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 It needs to be new, and I want Charlotte to be changed. But as well, could it also be? Bailey, the one to break Charlotte's pay per view streak. He could be because she I'd hasn't like to see that because she hasn't lost yet at a pay per view, has she? No. But what I, what I want to see is Charlotte not have so much uh, out ring help. This it's not. Year. It's, it's not only that. I mean, I'm I'm slightly getting annoyed now with the amount of title. Um, not defences but the title opportunities that Charlotte gets when mm. she's not champion it's yeah. never like when Sasha was champion it was never Sasha against anyone else for the title no. it was always against Charlotte or when it was uh, someone else as, as champion it was against Charlotte yeah yeah. but I think this is the problem with the, the women's division at the moment <laughs> they don't feel like they can put Charlotte away from it. Yeah. It's like they they only think right. I've got Charlotte, and I'll pick someone else. But it has to be Charlotte. Charlotte has to be somewhere yeah. near the title yeah. at all times. Which I mean, the amount of times that it's swapped between her and Sasha. I mean, she's the end she's got she, she's got boring. she's got to be close to actually um, tying with her dad on how many championships she's won. Yeah. <laughs> the, the end. The end of um, the end of last year. Yeah. That was. For the title was boring. the The matches were good. The matches were great. I mean, obviously the Hell in a Cell match, but, the Falls Count oh, Anywhere match, and things like that. But it was. It's like it's like they gave up at the end of last year with yeah. the women's title. Yeah, it's I like, mean, oh, it, we'll just put it here and then put it and put it back and we'll put it back. It, it kind of reminded me of obviously where WCW went mm. back in the day before mm -hmm. they before they were went. It was. It, I mean, they had they had something like twenty title changes in six months. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't keep changing the title. No, all the time. It, it, it starts it doesn't, to get, doesn't it, give it any weight anymore. No, it starts to get boring. But uh, if Bailey wins, mm -hmm. which is what obviously we would like, yeah, then that could be the beginnings of a better year for the women's title yeah. as a whole. So hopefully, anyway. Fingers crossed. We want Bailey to win that. I want a hug. I want a ba want a Bailey hug. I want a baby hug. I want a belly to Bailey. <laughs> I want a belly to Bailey. <laughs> um. Well, the WWE title has been announced to be defended at Rumble, which we knew it would be because it just that would be stupid if it wasn't. <laughs> AJ Styles champion versus John Cena. Huh. <laughs> what do you want? I want Cena to win. Personally, okay. I, want, I, want, I want I want I want I want Cena to equal Flair's record. I want yeah. him to become 16-time world champion. As much as... I, well, the thing is, he's been around for so long now that I started liking him in kind of 04 and that time. Yeah. And then I hated him. Now I'm starting to almost like him again. So, but regardless of my personal feelings of him, he deserves Definitely. with the time, the effort... Mm -hmm. The off-screen stuff. Well, the, the, he does this is for what the company. This is what me, me, and the other half were talking about. Um, we, we were saying he, he deserves it in what he's given to the company and I the mean, universe. Uh, yeah, I um, mean, I mean, he's been with the company since two thousand and 
two. Yes. So that's fifteen years now. We've been on main roster. Yeah. Um, how and many consistently as well? I was, about to say, I was just about to say. I was just about to say. How many times has he actually been away? Obviously, with not, not uh, minus in injuries and things like that. Yeah. He's been away to do what? A couple of cameos in a film or a whole film on his own. Yeah. But then he's come straight back mm-hmm. every time, and the man has never stopped. No, uh, he definitely deserves to equal Flair on the championships. Definitely. For that Mister the... Cena, we there you go. On the fact of the actual match. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Moving back to what we. <laughs> I what we should be thinking. I don't know. Um, oh, oops. Um, it it's... is a tough one. Mm. Um, I can see them doing it both ways, but I think see, I, I think Cena will win. Yeah, there you go. Fuck it, because <laughs> surely, surely, someone up in the writers area in that little room, or well, not little room anymore. It's probably a massive room of fourteen hundred yeah, people. Yeah, it's about that. But surely now Triple H has gone into that room with Vince and gone look the bloke deserves it let's just do it because I, th- I, th- I, re- I think I think for Cena's um, to get to, to get him back in the fans and things like that in the fans light and things like that I think he needs another title run mm. um, so and I mean Obviously, depending on who wins the Royal Rumble, mm. so obviously it'll be, go- it'll be going back to um, how it used to be back in the early two thousands. Obviously, like with um, if it's a SmackDown person, they'll be going against SmackDown title and Raw yep. thing, against Raw title things like. That. Uh, if it is a SmackDown person, that wins wins, uh, wins the Rumble. Wins the Rumble. Uh, there, um, especially with someone like Taker. Mm. Taker Cena at Mania. That will be, mm. yeah. That's well, a dream. That's people, a dream match on its own. There is a little prediction out there saying that they're going to give the title to Taker at some point this year, as a last send off. Right. Give him, give him one more title run. So what you've just said makes perfect sense to it that. It does. Yes. If Cena won the title now, Taker wins it. it keeps it and Taker, Taker wins. Gets Taker, it Taker, 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 Taker wins Rumble and then gets it at Mania. Then that could finish all predictions because. I know Goldberg said that you know damn straight he's up for another title run, but obviously as well at Mania, but, it, it they can they can they can bring a storyline into that. If if Taker wins Rumble, they can still bring another storyline into. Yeah, and I think Goldberg thinks more about him taking down twenty nine men more than the fact of him. Ugh, I don't know. I t- I don't know what they're gonna do because if Goldberg wins, then he gets the title shot at Mania. Yeah. Which means either the title changes before that to Taker. We're, we're talking as if this prediction is going to be correct at the yeah. moment, obviously. But either they do that, or they do some horrible curveball storyline where Goldberg loses his title shot, which I think people would despise. So I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. But it's hard. It's difficult. It is. Yeah. There is a lot of scope there. Yeah. I so mean, um, quite a decent storyline, especially yeah. the first of the year, anyway. So we want, we obviously we want Cena to win that, mm-hmm. um, and we've sort of came up with our own little storyline there. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go on Universe on 2K17 later and make and all you get, that. You're gonna make all that happen, are you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. You know where I'm gonna go now, don't you? Go on. Because you can see my face. I'm not looking forward to this match. I think this is match is just gonna ruin Rumble. I think um, I'm gonna get bored. Universal title match. Yes. Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns with Jericho suspended in a shark cage. Yes. And the mood dips down <laughs> low. <laughs> oh. Obviously, um, they can't think of anything else to do. This whole Jericho Owens thing is getting boring now. It's getting dry. Now yeah. I can say it. Hmm. I recall, if I'm right, a few prediction videos back, I said I was enjoying the whole thing. And I think that uh, was 
either Summer, be... SummerSlam, maybe Survivor Series, or Hell in a Cell, one of them. Yeah. A few months ago, I yeah. did say I was enjoying it. Now, now it's dry. Mm. Now it's very, very dry. And I don't even care that Jericho's up in a fucking cage above the ring. It's no. not. I don't know. It's just. I not mean, exciting. I mean, I mean, I did like the fact that they've they pinned Jericho with the United States title yeah. because it's kind of um, sort of drawn it to the fact that they've stripped Roman off that title mm. and they could possibly give him the Universal title. Mm. Um, as well as the fact that the United States title was the only title that Jericho had never won. Yeah. So now he's won every single title. So now he's won every title. So yeah. he's had his bit. Yeah. Um, I don't think people are going to be that bothered of Jericho being up suspended in the shark cage. Um, Won't be fly. They'll, they'll just forget about him. Yeah. And hopefully the ring crew will forget about he's up there and all. And leave him yeah. up there. <laughs> Either that, or they'll do something in the match that centres too much on Jericho, so no one focuses on the match. A bit like the um, inaugural Universal Championship match, where everyone was just staring and googling at how shit the title was. Yeah. Rather than looking at the actual match. <laughs> yeah. It could be something like that. I mean, it could, it could be something like Jericho trying to break himself out of the cage and things like yeah, that. Or, or, uh, or, 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 um, or, um, yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. Jericho having a headset on in the, in the shark cage. Yeah. <laughs> um, or, or, it could, or it could be something like um, the referee gets knocked out, Kevin Owens grabs the keys out of his pocket and throws one to Jericho. Something like that, I think. Oh, I'd love that to happen, and then they bodge it up and they miss the catch. Miss the catch, or Jericho falls out. Throw it again. <laughs> or Jericho falls out of the cage. <laughs> I'd just like Jericho not to get out, but commentate the whole thing, eye in the sky, just using the... Uh, <laughs> The old school form of interpretive dance. Now that I would watch, because fuck the match. I don't care about the match too much because this universal title they bought it out and they thought, oh yeah, th- everyone's gonna love it and no one gives a shit about no. it. <laughs> so no one cares about the matches. No, um, uh, I do think. I, I like I like the fact that you've just said about the eye in the sky thing because all I have in my head there is the eye in the sky bloke from Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the the only thing I'm thinking, and this is obviously based on what we want, but we want Neville to win cruiserweight. Yeah. So that's a championship change. Yeah. We want Bailey to win women's. That's a championship change. Yeah. You want Cena to win the WWE championship. That's a championship change. Are we seriously think? Are we seriously being as naive to say that every like, title every title change? Is change? It's happened before. It has, but it's rare. Although it's the 30th anniversary Royal Rumble, so maybe, you could put, possibly, yeah. I so, think Owens will keep it. You think Owens will keep it? I think he will squander his way out of it somehow. Yes. Yeah. So down to the 30-man Royal Rumble. It's the only other one we know about so far. Yep. Uh, we know quite two, a bit about four, it. Six, eight, ten, <coughs> fourteen, sixteen. 18 people have um, confirmed that they're going to be in it. Uh, we've got seven from SmackDown and two, four, six, eight, ten from Raw, and obviously Taker, who's unassigned with, with anyone. Yeah. Um, so at the moment, it, it's in favour of Raw to SmackDown in who how many people are in it. Um, so we've got the Wyatt family that are in it: Bray, Luke Harper, and Randy Orton. Um, where, how, what did you think about the old them recruiting Randy into the Wyatt family? Well, initially, I was like, "Yeah, hey, no, now, don't do it." Now I'm like, "Yeah, I, li- yeah, I like it. I, li- I like I, it as well." You know, I like the surprise RKOs to help out Bray and all this stuff because it brings back a bit of fruit in the whole thing. It, it, it sort of brings back as well um, the days of Evolution. Yeah, yeah, because mm. I loved Evolution. Yeah, it sort of brings back the days in Evolution, really, because obviously you've got Bray Wyatt, who's like the Triple H centre of Bloke. the group. Yeah, the, the, the centre of the group. Then you've got, obviously, Randy Orton as himself. Uh, but then you've got Luke Harper, who's like the Batista. Yes, a bit of strange muscle in the background. Yeah. <laughs> All I need now is some really old geezer. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> I'm trying to think of who that might be now. Sorry, mm. go on. Um, <coughs> also as well, well, Cesaro and Sheamus have announced that they're going to be in the Rumble. Um, obviously, the the Raw Tag Team Champions. Yeah. I still reckon there there might possibly be a tag team title match for them. Yeah. But you've got to think as well, there's never many actual matches at Rumble because obviously the actual Rumble itself takes a good hour. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there could be tag team matches that might not be tag team matches, but there would definitely be the SmackDown Women's Championship. Yeah. That's a definite. Um, Tazar and Sheamus have, been, uh, have said they're going to be in it. Um, Dolph Ziggler, The Miz and Ambrose and Baron Corbin, Corbin from SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Um, Seth Rollins, Braun Strowman, Chris Jericho. After he gets down from the cage, yeah, um, if they ever let him down, if they ever let him down, um, New Day and Brock and Goldberg have all been announced for Raw. Yeah. Um, has it been announced that um, Brock and Goldberg are actually going to be entering one and two? I don't think anything official has been done, is it? No. I, and I think that nothing will be. It will be a. Because obviously, you know, obviously, 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 Goldberg was the first person to admit that he's going to be in to, in the Raw Rumble, but um, yeah, and he kind of hinted that he wanted to be first, hmm. but I, they won't confirm anything. It, 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 we'll have to wait and see. I think, but if they put Goldberg, I mean. Um, Sorry, Dan. E. Fenger eighty. Good evening or well, good afternoon, sir. How are you today? Uh, if you've just joined us, we, we're actually we've done most of the matches already. <laughs> we're actually into the Royal Rumble <laughs> stage now, but we've got a lot more to talk about after this. So stick around. We'll be uh, we'll be carrying on. Talking well, more shit later on. Talking more um, shit later on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of uh, my friends actually stated, and it's an interesting point. If they put Goldberg first, will he last? That's that's not a bad state. I mean, obviously he's proved that he can take down the beast, but that yes. was at one minute twenty six seconds. That was a one minute twenty six second match. Um, obviously he's been doing um, other stuff while he's been away from uh, from WWE. He's been doing indie shows and things like that, and special um, all star shows and things like that. So he's still got he's still got it in him, but can he last? An hour. an hour. Can he last an hour? Um, um, that's the I big thing. Brock I can. That's think. obvious. Brock can last an hour. Mate, Brock can last a whole week in a fucking well, exactly. run with man's a machine. Yeah. Um, but Goldberg is, whether you like it or not, getting older. Yeah. A lot older. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's what is he? He's coming up to his fifties now, is he? Forties or he's late forties, early fifties now. So. Which is bloody old for a wrestler, so you know, yeah. I mean, um, not alone an hour long Royal Rumble. If Goldberg is in is in first, he won't last longer than fifteen minutes. We, that yeah, I I I, I, I totally agree. I totally agree with you. Um, but um, I mean, who, who else? I mean, I mean, ah, yeah, that's the other one. Do you think something a a miraculous escape will happen from Kofi again this year? <laughs> I'd say I didn't know what I really want it to be really like cliche because it's like 30th anniversary I just want to see a load of like cliche shit that makes you think about all the other Royal Rumbles from the last like well I mean, I mean obviously obviously he had um, at the time where he, he was on the announce table wasn't he and he jumped on the chair all and the then back, bounced, on, bounced, yeah. bounced back that way <laughs> uh, then he did a handstand one year yeah he handstanded all the way around the ring um Jump from the jump from the ring apron, uh, not, from the ring, apron. Not, not from the ring apron, from the barricade. No. Barricade, um, thank you. The Kofi tradition must go on. Yeah, it must do. <laughs> um, and then the other one where he um, where he went over the over the um, turnbuckle when his feet landed on the steps. <laughs> but then, but then last year, I don't think that was as good last year because he, he got caught by all their mascots, didn't he? And they basically crowd surfed him around the yeah, around the ring and put him weird. back in. That wasn't, yeah, that wasn't really a Kofi thing, that. No, because it wasn't Kofi that was using skill to do no. it. it. It it was a bit ugh, silly, but... I mean, me, uh, me, I, Yes, Kofi tradition must go on. It should, yeah. Something must be done. Yeah. And Kofi must find a way 
to Superman his way back. I think, I think it would be a good one if he actually landed, went over the top rope, landed on one foot and then hopped around the ring. On one foot. Anything like that is yeah. absolutely fine. Just don't crowd surf a load of fucking mascots, right? No, and then no. we'll all be fine. Yeah. We'll be happy. Um, uh, yeah. Surprise entrances, obviously. Right, we'll, we'll we'll come back to surprise entrances in a minute because we want to. I want to talk about obviously the first inducted into the Hall of Fame. Walk away. Mr. Kurt Angle has been inducted into the Hall of Fame of 2017, which I'm absolutely ecstatic about. Hang on, uh, yeah, caught uh, caught by uh, the New Day, and then then he was just chilled on uh, chilled on Biggie's shoulders for like five. Yeah. This, yeah, that's what we don't want. Or something. Yeah. yeah. Use them. Yeah. But don't use them in a way that they're going to crowd surf his shoulders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Anything like that. But yeah, uh, so Kurt Angle has been inducted into the Hall of Fame. Yep. Which is brilliant. But the only thing it's it's let me down, or it's let down, is the fact that it's not a surprise anymore that he's going to return. No. Because obviously it was lot, it's been speculation for years that he's going to return. Yep. And. People think is it going to be this time? Is it going to be this time? And it sort of been let down because like I thought he was going to make a surprise entrance in Rumble this year. Hmm. Now that he's been inducted, it's more than a guarantee. Yeah. Now, isn't it? Well, um, well, there there are speculations as well that Mick Foley is no longer going to be general manager. Right. I um, this one. No, apparently they're, they're thinking about dropping Mick as general manager. And there's speculations that Kurt could be taking over. Right. Which I don't think is a bad idea, because Kurt's done it before. He, he, he used to be SmackDown general manager back in the day. He did. And he That's did right. a pretty good job at that. Yeah, um, that so, I mean, there's speculations about that, that Kurt could be the next, G, next GM. Um, on the whole of Kurt returning at Rumble, who do you yeah. think he will return to actually face, face against what in the rumble in the rumble Ooh. if Kurt was if Kurt was GM of Raw that would be sick it would be sick <laughs> it would be nuts <laughs> I don't know do, do you know what the only thing I thought when you said that was oh if Kurt does come back I wonder if they could put Kurt and Goldberg together I don't know why Kurt and Goldberg <laughs> Oh, <laughs> would go down well. No, no, I'm. I don't know. I don't know if. Um... I would. I would like to see um, Kurt square up against Cena again. Because remember when Cena debuted, he faced up against Kurt. Yeah, I don't. In his debut, but I don't think put... Cena will be in the Rumble. If they put Kurt in the Rumble, if Kurt is coming to the Rumble, mm. um, I don't think that they will bring him in in a way that he will face someone. Um, kind of face to face yeah. like that I think that if, if they were going to do that they would wait until after the rumble maybe something controversial happens while he's in the ring at the rumble and then that follows on to maybe something afterwards but um, um, I, poss I possibly don't think that Kurt will be in the rumble but if he does the pop uh, the pop will be huge <laughs> oh yes as soon as that music hits that crowd is going to go ballistic I think I'm a bit on a fangers thing here. I don't. Yes, we know he's coming back because That's he's, he's, in he's in the Hall of Fame now. Will he be appearing at the Rumble? I don't know. Uh, you're quite certain. Yeah, I, I, well, I reckon it will either be it'll, it'll be at Rumble or he will appear next night on Raw. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Um, he'll be back. I I will sit patiently. Yeah, it will be worth the wait. Yeah, so you take other, as long as you want. The other really. the other thing is as well. I mean, obviously, there's still lots of speculations about the Hardys returning. Don't think it happen. Obviously, well, the Hardys um, contract with TNA is actually up this month. Um, yes. Obviously, Triple H is very interested in bringing Broken Matt Hardy back to WWE he's very interested in bringing Jeff back to WWE could we see an appearance from them at Rumble maybe uh, maybe not um, I don't, it's no, very I quiet don't so. it's very very I, quiet with that one I don't think so I think it's too close to the contract see I, don't, I, I, see I know the contract is up this month but I don't know if it was up at the beginning of the month or 
it's after Rumble or whatever. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm I'm not sure either. But I don't. Um, I I want to see them back because I a broken Matt is literally the best form of Matt Hardy I have ever seen. I didn't I like it. it. I didn't like it at first, but after watching a few things, I mean, it's it's one of the best character creations I've ever seen. His his promos are really good. Do you know what his promos remind me of? Mm. They remind me of a very early Mankind. Yeah. Very early Mankind promos. And yeah. Mi- mixed mixed with bit. mixed with um, like ECW um, Mick Foley sort of era. Mm. Uh, fast forward to Elimination Chamber. Do you guys think? Uh, they will have a chamber match for all SmackDown titles, including women's titles. That's not yeah. Mm. Well, mm. well, the uh, I think SmackDown just gone Tuesday. Um, the Bucks of Youth will delete the Hardys. <laughs> 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 I like that. Um, I um, well, I know Shane has already announced that the World Heavyweight Title is going to be contested in an Elimination Chamber. Yeah. Um, Having all the titles in an elimination chamber, I think, is not a bad idea. But have they got enough females to do it? They've got enough females on the roster to do one, right? Because I, 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 I'm I, very rarely I, ca- I catch eye on SmackDown, so I can't remember how many females they've actually got over on SmackDown. But... They, I think they should have enough anyway. Mm-hmm. I think. Was they need? Well, they need, well, they need either, six, isn't it? Yeah, six. Either way, either way, bring. There's a couple in NXT. Yeah. There's still there's still a few in it. Yeah, I was about to say yeah, there's still a few in NXT they can use, can't they? Um, An Apuzuka or something, you know, something yeah. like that. Um, um, but no, I'd like to see every match because that's that's the one thing that annoys me with pay per views such as Elimination Chamber, such as Hell in a Cell. If you're gonna call your pay per view after a match, make every match that. Well. I, I've always had a personal opinion anyway of Elimination Chamber and Hell in a Cell pay-per-views. Mm. They were, back in the day, those matches were special matches that were like once, maybe twice a year you'd see them. Yeah. And I hate the fact that they have their own pay-per-view. Uh, yeah, I see what you mean. But moving, I mean, what, moving off. But I mean, bit, what, yeah, what, I what, I, what, I, what I want to see... A bit like what TNA used to do with Six Sides of Steel. Mm. You used to do Six Sides of Steel. That means every match was contested in a cage. Yeah. That's what they need to do with Elimination Chamber, TLC, um, Hell in a Cell, Money in the Bank. They, yeah. they, they could do more than one Money in the Bank match. They could do a Women's mm. Money in the Bank match. Well, this is the thing. They could do... if they I could don't do, know. Is could... it going to be Raw or SmackDown um, exclusive? Or is it going to be a whole... Because um, if it's a whole one, then mm. you could do a Raw Money in the Bank. You could yeah. do a SmackDown Money in the Bank. Yep. You um, could, and then you could do a um, you could do a Tag Team Money in the Bank. Um, yeah. Have we got so they, put the Cruiserweights in there as well. Cruiserweight Money in the Bank. That would be awesome. Um, oh, they have Alexa, Becky, Mickey, Carmella, uh, Natty, and Nikki. There you uh, go. There's all women. I there's your women. There's your women match. Uh, all them are a short story. If if you can call that, uh, Elves of Carmella thing, thing, thing story. <laughs> it's good that we've got someone else in the background now to give us more information. It's great. This yeah, way <laughs> combo now. Yeah. Great. Um, but I mean, yeah, that, that's no, what I mean. Uh, that's what that's what I want to see. I mean, all these pay per view matches that I say are named after a match. Yeah. Make every match. I mean, yes, they'll be all the same match. But they'd all be different, if you know what I mean. Well, you'll be rooting for different people each time. Well, yeah, but I mean, uh, what, the one thing I don't like as well, especially when it comes to Money in the Bank matches, every time there is a Money in the Bank match, they have to put a ladder from the ring to the uh, to the barricade. Mm. And someone's going to go through it every single time. Yes. They did it the first couple of times. Brilliant. Yeah. Now it's all the time. Yeah. Cruiserweight ladder, ladder match at Money in the Bank must happen. It should. Definitely it should happen. I yeah. mean... Um, For fuck's sake, they're cruiserweights. They're high-risk people. Bloody bang them on a couple of ladders. And exactly. I mean, we saw, we, I mean, we saw what happened with um, Kalisto and the Usos. 
Yeah. Salita del Sol off one ladder through another. <laughs> yeah, that that re resonates in my brain still to this day. And yeah, it, I, 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 I still I, I still I still feel the Usos pain on that one. Yeah, um, <laughs> tingles in my yeah. areas. Um, but yeah, shove a load of cruiserweight thing. Could you imagine what kind of match that would be? Oh, oh chaos! God, <laughs> <laughs> is um, is Kalisto actually part of two two oh five live now? Is he part of cruiserweight or is he still with SmackDown? I think he's still with SmackDown. He needs to go over the cruiserweights. Definitely. Yeah, he needs to go over with Neville, and then yeah. we got ourselves a couple of. You, this is the thing: the cruiserweights. Um, because I think because the cruiserweights have always got a really dull thing from the universe. Yeah. Uh, since they've come back, mm -hmm. and if you shove Neville in, yeah. who was main roster, if you shove Kalisto in, a couple of big universe people as well. Um, Shinsuke Nakamura. That's another yeah. one. Yeah. Bring him from NXT. Don't bother putting him on Raw and SmackDown. Put him straight into Two Hundred Five Live. <laughs> If you shove them in 205 Live, then that will just, um, it will bring up its popularity so much. Uh, Kalisto is on SmackDown, but uh, still, but he's one of those things that WWE forgot about. Yeah. Just like, exactly Raw, just, like Raw's, just like Raw's middle card. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I mean, just move Kalisto over. Yeah. Move Kalisto over, put. Ugh, I didn't want to see that. <laughs> Move Kalisto over. Put someone else like Shinsuke Nakamura in. Bring some new faces in. I mean, we still. I know he's not an actual cruiserweight, but he's got the ability to be part of cruiserweights. Put put him on Slim Fast for a while. <laughs> uh, you know, send him to Weight Watchers for a couple of months. It, it'd be ready. I mean, um, I mean that's the one thing we haven't seen in these cruiserweights yet is a big high flying ladder match. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> We need to bring back what what the Hardys, the Dudleys, Edge and Christian, and all that used to do. Yeah. Bring that back. Um, when Aries is fit, he's going to dominate. Yeah. When Austin Aries is fit, yes. Oh yes. But then that's another one that needs. That's another one that needs to come on main roster. Austin yeah, Aries. Yeah. 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 They, they need. They instead of signing these TNA stars and some quite older stars and signing them and putting them into NXT. Which is like obviously like the your um, what's it what's the word um, like it's a, bit, it's a bit like a training camp really isn't it? What put, NXT? Yeah, yeah. I suppose put, put them straight into main, put them lot like, straight into main roster like they did with AJ Styles. Yeah, I mean we're still waiting for AJ Samoa Joe in a WWE ring. Mm. Yet Samoa Joe is stuck in NXT. Yeah, <laughs> I mean going back to the mid card as well. Um, the the issue with the mid card is right. So we have like we can count the amount of wrestlers that we see on Raw and SmackDown all the time yeah. on one hand each, mm -hmm. and it's not right. No, your mid your mid card isn't your reserve slot for when someone's injured. Your, this, your mid card still needs to be as exciting. It's it's the it's the same problem <clears throat> that WCW did. They used to put all their mid card people on Thunder. Mm. And keep NWO, Goldberg, Sting, and all that on Nitro, mm -hmm. and put all the decent wrestlers. Not not saying that N NWO and all that weren't decent, but they used to put all the high flyers, things like Jericho, Guerrero, Dimalenko, and all that, on onto um, Thunder, and yeah. that's why they you never get to saw you never get to see them in in WCW. No. Putting a handful of NXT guys onto Two or Five Live will make it. Uh, will make it a show people would tune into. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I I haven't actually watched Two or Five Live yet because I, I, I will admit it's I it, it's it. not it hasn't interested me because there isn't the there isn't the wrestlers there that it, that wants to draw me to it. No. It's the same. The with, thing is, if it, I'm, every, like, let's be honest, us as a WWE universe, we are naive sons of bitches. So if they bring in people like that, we'll probably start liking the ones that are already there because yeah. they're being twined with them and make good. I've got know, a, I've stories. got a question. I've got a question for Fango here. Uh, Fango here. Um, just a quick one. Uh, whereabouts in the world do you live? If you live in the UK, because I want to quickly talk about that as well. If you live in the UK, you'll probably be in the same boat as we have. Did you Dan watch 
any of the United Kingdom tournament? <laughs> no, I didn't watch. I didn't watch. No, I followed. You followed it, it, but you didn't watch any of it. But I didn't watch any of it. That was the other thing as well. Obviously, British wrestlers aren't as well known as a lot of the other no. things and things like that. It wasn't exactly promoted very well. No. I mean, Agreed. it was it was announced, and then the tournament happened, and now we have a UK type, uh, champion. Yeah. In the space of what? <laughs> a fortnight. Um, from Australia, and I watched all the UK champions tournament. Did you enjoy it? That's the main thing I want to know. Did you enjoy That's the it? we're getting at. Yeah, did you enjoy the UK Championship Tournament? Because if you did, and, you, and it, it, it was so, uh, I keep up with the UK uh, scene a little, so uh, so I knew half, half the guys. See, that, that's the problem with us. I mean, we, we don't actually have the... Um, it, it's difficult for us to actually figure out the UK wrestlers over here. I mean, I know it sounds weird, Obviously, being in the UK and not able to be following it's UK not, wrestlers, it's not. But, oh, but, but, oh, here. but over Actually. here, wrestling is not promoted as a big thing. Over here, it's mainly football. Uh, is it like, look, yeah, no, it socks, is football, fo- rugby, football, rugby, tennis. Ten- yeah, football, rugby, tennis. Wrestling over here is not a big of a deal that it is anywhere else. Um, which is which is which is bad really because it, wrestling is one of the one of the most watched sports around the world. Mm. Um, I mean, I did watch the um, WOS show that was on New Year's Eve. Um, obviously, going back to um, the late seventies, early eighties, with wrestlers like Big Daddy and um, Giant Haystacks and things like that. And that was really good. I really enjoyed that. Obviously, having Jr. commentating as well that made it even funnier. Um, but I say wrestling over here it, 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 it we have thousands of fans over here I mean when WWE comes over I mean it's chaos but it's sold out instantly it's sold out instantly I mean we've tried well, getting we have tickets. a look we, we've tried getting tickets I mean neither, neither me or Dan have actually seen or been to a WWE event I've been to a TNA event personally uh, and that was when TNA first came over here into um, Wembley Arena and that was amazing but Trying to get tickets for a WWE event over here is just <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> um, but what they need to do is, what they need, if they want to promote the UK in WWE, i.e., like doing this UK title and things like that, they need to bring pay per views back over here. Yeah. The last, I think, the last time a pay per view proper pay per view was over here was SummerSlam mm. back in the early nineties. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we had things like Insurrection and Rebellion, but who the fuck remembers them? <laughs> <laughs> they were the quick, like, let's try a new pay-per-view. No, that didn't work. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Apparently, he loved it. Um, all the start on... Uh, are you reading this as well? Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I did see that Taylor Bate obviously won the title, and because actually, I mean, I didn't actually realise he was that small. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the fact, uh, the fact is, you you've said that and you you really enjoyed it. I think it would give me an insight now to actually watch it on the network. Yeah, I was just about to say I might I might go and have a watch. Of it yeah. Because, um, the the thing is, so they did it right. Mm. It's done now. Yeah. What next? Well, what what I what I've heard is now that they've done this tournament and now we have a UK champion, uh, they're thinking about having actually a weekly program that's going to be filmed over here mm-hmm. in the UK, um, a weekly program for basically WWE UK. Yeah. Um, but is it going to be as good? Yes, they could. Yeah, they are. They're going to start up a British show, but uh, will they have things like special guests pop in right, from okay. the main I'm roster gonna, and things like that? I'm going to make the same point that we all just made with Cruiserweight, mm-hmm. and that is bring Barrett over. Yep. Bring, right, bring, so bring yep. some of them well, over. I, I don't think Barrett's in it anymore, is he? 
Well, he's been released. Whoever, find <laughs> him, find him, <laughs> and put him back in. Yep. But bring people over. Yeah. Um, bring, 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 and... bring, bring the the UK, uh, the British, the Irish, the Scottish. Um, not all of them. Have... Not all of no, them. No, no, no. Um, leave Finn where he is. And leave, all those, leave, but... Finn, leave Finn where he is. Oh, you, you bring Finn over. I mean, obviously he's um, bring he, him on special appearances. Yeah, um, people like people country. like Seamus and um, bring um, Becky Lynch over sometimes and mm. things like that. Um, oh, he's in acting now, is he? Uh, I knew he'd left. I knew Barrett had left. He's in acting. Cough, dear. That'd be terrible. Exactly. <laughs> Put a bag over his head, <laughs> shove him in the back of a van, bring him back over. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Who knows? He, he will return hopefully soon. Yeah. Um, and I say, br- bring bring some of the main roster over. Well, people, at least we know. Yeah. Properly. Yeah. Because yeah. it gi- it gi- it also as well it gives them British wrestlers a chance to wrestle someone who's sort of up here. Yeah. <laughs> But it carry it brings some weight to something like that. Yeah. If you're starting a new show, you need something that people can relate to and and something that carries a bit of weight so that people start watching it. Otherwise, yeah, it's very hard, especially when we're all in a very, you know, straightforward mindset about what we want to watch in wrestling now. Yeah. That to go to something new. I mean, it took me ages to watch NXT. Yeah. Ages. Mm. Um, and now I love it. But yeah. I mean, yeah, that's um, what they need to do. Yeah, um, there was a couple of other things I saw on online. Um, the fact that Kurt Angle has uh, said who he wants to induct him. Um, apparently, he doesn't want any WWE superstar to induct him. He wants X. Well, they are WWE superstars now, but he wants X TNA stars. Mm. He wants people like AJ, Samoa Joe, Austin Aries. He wants people like that to induct him, which I think is pretty good. Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah, obviously WWE got him on the ball. He got him when he was with WWE for years. TNA took him a bit further. Yeah. Um, obviously, he was champion, God knows how many times over at WWE. But uh, as I say, TNA. Took him that step further, and I think yeah. he's got that to to say thanks, basically. And he wants them to, TNA stars to induct him, which I think is pretty good. I think it's nice. I think it's a nice little nod. Yeah. Um, for him, it, it um for all of T because I'm not a TNA fan too much. So for mm. all that TNA doesn't do for me, they did Kurt Angle good. Yeah. And it's nice that he wants to bring his buds over and, and have them induct him. I see there's a new message. Go ahead. The, the the first NXT I watched on TV was the one where Blake and Murphy won the tag team titles with the Lucha Dragons. Do you remember that one? No, I don't no. even think I came in then. No. I came I came in um, really late on um, with the whole uh, Samoa Joe turning on um, Finn. Hmm. I came in way late, like then. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I think the first thing I watched, um, the first NXT I watched was when um, Kevin Owens turned on Sammy. Mm. Um, I think that's where a lot of people sort of came in. Um, but um, no, I, I do. I definitely do like a bit of NXT now. It's something. It's something to. Do you know what made me start? What made you start watching it? What made me start watching it was um, obviously the fact that I, I heard a lot about NXT and uh, I obviously there was I think it was BWO or no not BWO B, B something or, it used to be the um, the training camp for WWE mm. where um, Batista was in John Cena Randy Orton and all that were all in and that was never televised. No, um, I mean. Um, you can um, you can obviously you can see all that on YouTube now, and things like that. But um, it was it was nice to know that there was actually a a, a weekly series of a um, like a performance center basically for yeah. upcoming superstars. So you yeah. can you can get to see 
um, who's going to be in the in in the main roster in the next couple of years. Yeah, I mean the same with with when you watch it now. I mean, obviously Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, um, and then you look you look at who's on there now. I mean, I mean I, I do like that they've brought some TNA stars into NXT because it boosts up some of the younger guys. Yeah. Um, but I say you've got people like Shinsuke Nakamura, um, even some of the women wrestlers. We see where Charlotte and Sasha is now, um, and you've got people like Nia Jax that were there and Bailey and things like. That. I mean, how many people wanted fight, wanted Bailey in the main roster? Yeah. And it took it it took them quite a bit to bring Bailey over. But, it's the wave, it's the wavy inflatable arm tube men that get me. That's what that's what started it for me. Crazy wavy armed inflatable tube men. But I love Bailey now. <laughs> it's funny that a few months ago you liked Paige. <laughs> oh no, I still love Paige. Uh, I love yeah. Paige. Love you do Paige. know you I do. Sasha. You do. You do know who Paige is married to, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's not fair because he's ugly as fuck. But anyway, carry on. Racist. <laughs> that was that racist. How about um, uh, there we are. You know you've just done that live on the internet. <laughs> I, I lost my dignity years ago, mate. I'm I'm none left to lose anyway, so fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Uh, I watched two things on TNA. One, Broken Matt Hardy. Two, Trevor Lee and Andrew Revert. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. As well. And the thing is, um, this is why I think um, Broken Matt Hardy can come back because they have that still Trevor yeah. Lee. Yeah. Um, um, so, you know, it, it makes me believe that it can happen more yeah. than anything. Because yeah. TNA wouldn't let him go if they didn't have anything else to go with no. that's business practice well yeah uh, but there was obviously a lot of speculations that TNA were going to be going under under into the toilet basically wasn't there mm-hmm. um, and there was oh, a lot of extra, sure. yeah uh, there was a lot of uh, consideration of Vince buying them out yep but it looks like they've sort of settled their financial I think they're sorted now yeah because um, I, I think I think Dixie Carter has now sort of pushed away from it all now and they got this new bloke in I can't remember his name now um, but um, no it's it's definitely going back to what TNA used to be yeah what TNA used to be was oh excuse me what TNA used to be was amazing at, T, at the start of TNA that was very ECW I think mm. uh, they used to do a lot of the old barbed wire stuff and things like that especially with Sabu and Abyss and things like that, and Jeff Hardy as well, um, and obviously the um, um, X Division, as it was called then. Um, but I think what um, they need a whole new commentary. To, yes, definitely. I am sick of Josh Matthews <laughs> and the awkward silences. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, that's the other thing. I, um, I mean, um, Josh Matthews. Uh, I mean, they. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I hate Josh. <laughs> T-shirt. Yeah. Um, that's the point. Mm. Sorry to come off the uh, off the main narrative here. Um, we, we didn't wear our T-shirts. Damn. We will wear T-shirts for the we post-war are, Rumble. We, we will wear T-shirts for post war uh, for yeah for post war Rumble. Uh, you wonder what the t-shirts are, Tango. He, uh, Dan's got a um, uh, a Shane McMahon t-shirt, and I've got my Budio t-shirt. <laughs> Randy one as well. I get to pick. Hey, eh? I pick. So I got my Randy one as well. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, um, he just rips into people mid mid match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, the, it's, the, it's, the, the 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 best thing about it, I mean Josh Matthews, he was crap in WWE. He's crap in TNA. <laughs> he should just crawl into a ball and fuck off. <laughs> Someone drop a rock from a high height. <sighs> He's one of them people that I couldn't. I, I would happily slap for hours. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. 
I'm sure some of what he says is, you know, he's been told to say, but surely not all of it. Like, surely. Oh, God, no. <laughs> surely not. Anyway. Oh, excuse me, hang on. Um, Digress. Just, um, just go back onto that. Um, what else have we got to talk about? Um, we've got to go back to who we think is going to win the Rumble. That's it, yeah. Ah, Royal Rumble, that's what we were talking about, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> that's what the title was. Um, uh, uh, I, w- I watched a video of um, Dalton Castle, and he was... He was he was burying him in the commentary. I hate him even more now. I really do. <laughs> I like that. Now it's not don't like. Now it's hate. Yes. I mean pure hate. Yeah. Yeah. Raw Rumble. That's what we were talking about, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what we were um, talking Yeah. <clears throat> I knew there was something we were doing. Um, yeah, so... Hmm. Who do you think is going to win the Royal Rumble? <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> right. So, uh, right. Oh, what? Okay. What I want to see at WrestleMania. Well, obviously, the 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 top five people yep. that are, are predicted to win. Obviously, we've got Taker. We've got Brock. We've got Goldberg. Mine's on there. Mine's on there. <laughs> Yours is on it, Bala. <laughs> Samoa Joe, possibly. Yes, I can see that. Um... No, it can't be Braun Lesnar or Goldberg. No. No. Um, I'd love to see Bala win it, but I can't see it personally. Um, mine's Taker. Yours is it? Yeah. Um... He hasn't got a streak like more. No, the streak. We all streak, know that. The streak has died. We all know that streak he, has died. So he needs to finish him off, not literally, but to finish him off, he could do with one more title run. Title win, yeah. yeah. And that will be it. At WrestleMania, I think. Yeah, wins so, out. Win, wins wins a title at Mania. Have a good two, possibly three pay per view defenses, and then fit. What I'd like to see, what I'd like to see, uh, because it will be 27 years he'd been with the company in November. November, because which will be Survivor my Series. birthday. Yep, it will also be Survivor was, Series. Yep, because my birthday was four or five days after he started, so yep. he, um, he's run as long as I live. Yep, um, I could see him, could see him having having a title. Um, yeah, uh, for him to win the title at Mania, then and he yeah, then when he loses it, retire. Yeah. yeah, I could see him keeping it for the basically for the ma- majority of the year and losing it at Survivor Series. And Survivor Series could be his retirement, where basically he finishes where he started. Yeah, I'd like to see that, but could he survive a, basically in, uh, eleven months? Not, well, yeah, it won't be eleven. It won't be eleven months. It'd be about nine months, wouldn't it? The, the problem I we have with Taker now. Um, is that uh, it is becoming harder and harder and harder to plausibly think that he would win something. Yeah. Also, as well, I mean, so, can, can his body literally take? Because obviously, he's going to be he's going to be a cha- he's going to be title he's going to be uh, well, he's going to be champion. Well, he's not going to be champion, but if he was champion, they could possibly do a thing like with Brock Lesnar that they did, where he comes back every now and then. But then that's not exactly. Um, um, a, a a fighting champion really is it? What title? Uh, what title? Would it, it'll be WWE. I think he'll go for WWE title because we'd like to see him go up against Cena. Um, yeah. Or or because obviously Cena he, wins the title. Well, the remember Rumble. remember as well. Taker is unassigned, so he can pick which title he can go for. That is true. Um, but what I would like to see is Cena wins it at Rumble. Mm-hmm. That gives him his. 16th yep um, and then whatever they do between then and April but then it's take a Goldberg for the championship at Mania hmm. that's what I'd like to see yeah I, I but they can't plausibly make take a beat Goldberg so I know why you're going <laughs> yeah um, from work but... I um, I reckon <coughs> a take a Cena match at, at Mania would be definitely 
apparently Vince is going is going against the take and see ah I don't know why that would that would sell. Take a Cena at Mania would be one of them. I think would sell. Do you think Cena would have if he wins the title at Rumble? Do you think he'd keep it till Mania? I think so. Yeah. Or do you think this whole Goldberg wants another title run thing is going to get in the way before Mania? Um. So let's be honest. Goldberg will be at Mania. Goldberg's going to be at Mania, yeah, that's guaranteed. But doing what? Well, he will. Well, he will be going for the Universal because obviously he's part of Raw, isn't he? That's true. Um, sorry, what title? Sorry. He'll be going for the Universal title. Yeah, what title? Oh, that title. Yeah. yeah. Shut up. That that horrible shitty. Yeah. Lump red of thing. Shit. Yeah. Um, and another another rumor on a rumor on the on rumor, the rumor mill. mill. Is that Rome? Is that if Roman can't get over uh, by this year's Mania, he's giving up for a five-year-long Roman Reigns project? Yeah, that's they enough. gave Reigns the title too fucking early. This, I've said this to you a hundred times, and I yeah, yeah. They um, gave him the WWE Championship too early, and it fucked everything up. I think what they wanted to do, because of obviously they they split up the Shield, they wanted to get as quickly as possible. All three, three shield, way. All, yeah. all three shield members against each other for the title. They title. needed to get yeah. that as as quickly as possible. Yeah. Because people would have forgotten about it. Yeah. If they didn't do it uh, then. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I definitely think Roman was given it too early, all because of that. Vince is gonna Vince is gonna give up on Roman if he can't get over. So let's pray he can't. <laughs> <laughs> Not a Roman. Fan. Not a Roman fan. Um, I'm I'm a Roman fan now. He's mended bonds back with Seth. I'll say that. No, I I I'm, I'm the other way round. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm actually the other way around. I actually didn't mind him winning the championship. Mm. But I'm just saying that overall, he won that too early, and the universe turned yeah. against him. Yeah. Um, I think as well the fact is um, that I think the universe were getting a bit bored with Roman. Continuously going for the title, and like they want to see someone else. Well, he doesn't have amazing promo skills either. No, he hasn't got a lot of off ring skills, so no. or out of ring skills. Sorry, um, that's never done well for him. I love, so. I, I love Seth. I like Dean. I hate Roman. Fair point. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, can't, can't like them all. No. Um, well, the other Arthur said uh, she she misses seeing Dean because we watch Raw more than we watch SmackDown. She misses seeing Dean. Um, as, as fact as well, obviously, obviously you don't have you've only got them two. You got Roman and Seth on Raw. You got Dean on SmackDown. I didn't like Roman in the Shield because he was just a dog shit. <laughs> well, he he was your as we said earlier. He was your Batista for the Evolution or your yeah. Braun for your Wyatt family. Yeah, exactly. He was just a bit of muscle, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, uh, well, Roman was the muscle. Seth was the brains and. Dean was Dean. The nutter. <laughs> the absolute fruit loop. Yeah. Um, but, um, so, we're going off topic again, aren't we? So who's going to win Rumble? Who's going to win? Say, who, let's get let, this let's out. Get, so, let's get this. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll throw this to Fanga first. Fanga, who do you think is going to win Rumble? We'll, out of your three. Out of your three, who do you think is going to win? So I'm you said, so, who, who, did, who did you say? Um, Bala, Bala, Samoa Joe or Taker. We want take we we want Taker to win. Um, I can't wait for. Is he coming out at eleven? Is he? Is that um, is that a confirmed thing? Is that a confirmed thing? No, I'm not sure. Um, um, I say we we want Taker to win, but. Push Taker to one side. You're gonna to have to bring him in 28, 29. Yeah. Um, push Taker to one side. Is there anyone else that I think could win? Mm. Is Balor ready to come back? I think so. I think he is. Yeah. So I would say Balor as well. Yeah. Um, um, I'm thinking Finn, Finn the most. Yeah. Finn the most. 
W. The W. W. Psyche. See, yeah. people do think along the same lines as me after all. I'm not just a crazy person. Well, um, <laughs> I, I would, I would personally love to see Finn. I'm a massive Finn fan. Yeah. So I would love to see him win and think that he could. Yeah. Could you just flick a light on, mate? You're getting very dark. Yeah, I know it's getting. This UK time is really annoying. Yeah. Bear with me and Mo. I shall yeah. return. <laughs> um. Yeah. Samoa Joe is a wild card, definitely. Um, but um, I, um, yeah, I, de- I, 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 I can, I can agree with you there. Uh, between Bala and Taker, definitely. Um, I would say, obviously, everyone, everyone wants to see Finn come back and do his, do his business as he should. Um, and um, God's sake, what do you think? Um, do his thing as he should, but obviously, I think, uh, as you say, WWE is definitely going to um, push to get Taker in. His bloody advertisements on Skype, I do not like him. Um, here he comes. He's back, and he's got some light. Back. I've got some light. Yeah, it's very <laughs> orange light, so you'll have to bear with. But it's light. It's light. It's light. Anyway. I say like you, you were getting a sort of silhouette around your head. Yeah, it's getting <laughs> a weird like horror film glow, wasn't I? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, as Fangas just said, there, uh, Samoa Joe is is definitely the wild card. Oh, definitely, because he's not even you know main roster yet. So mm-hmm. has it uh, has has hasn't been since hasn't been seen in NXT for quite some time. It's the guy who's getting the call up along with the perfect ten, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But he's still a wild card because he's not there yet. Yeah, he, he's not in the roster yet. Mate. Yeah, yeah. So he would be a wild. Um, and would the universe accept it? I don't know. I they think, probably would, but I, th- I, I think they'll accept it, but they won't accept it as much as Nakamura. God, you love him, don't you? I do. He's great. He's brilliant. God, you've got a proper man crush. <laughs> oh, come on. You've seen Nakamura fight. He's brilliant. I know, but ever since you bought 2K17, you seem to really like him. Cause I, that's because I play as him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, he's brutal. <laughs> he's, he's good, yeah. yeah. Um, thank you! <laughs> I'm not denying it. I'm just saying <laughs> that if you if you were the writer in WWE, Nakamura would just be in everything, win everything, and that would be it. Yeah, <laughs> you burn the company to the ground in a month. It'll be it'll be Nakamura Raw. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Nakamura Raw. <laughs> or Nakamura. Nakamura, yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can talk about. I think we've covered it all. Um, yeah, probably about it. I think. Obviously, there could possibly be some more matches um, announced Monday yep. and Tuesday, Raw and SmackDown sort of thing. Um, yeah. Uh, who, who would you say? That, um, who the two guys you reckon need push then? Um, oh, Roderick Strong and Buddy Mo- uh, Buddy Murphy. Yes, Murphy. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, yeah, they haven't been, definitely haven't been used to their advantage, uh, to their abilities, really, have they? No, it's sort of just been a, a like a sort of pushed to the side and forgotten about. Yeah. Um. They need to bring more people up because they haven't done it in a while. No, exactly. No one's come up in a little while, so. Hmm. Um. I yeah, I think that would do us for today's argument. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't an argument. <laughs> it isn't an argument. Uh, Blake and Murphy should have been called up. On the draft, not Mojo. Yes, yeah, I yeah, I agree with that definitely. Because <laughs> yeah. Blake Blake and Murphy, 
I hate Mojo. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon Blake and Murphy come back in and have like a, a um, they could they could have like a, a another run up against um, Enzo and Cass. Yeah, I, re- I reckon that would have been good. Yeah, it might bring something back to the Raw division as well. Tag yeah. teams. Oh, oh, thank you, Vanga, for your follow. <laughs> Just come through and scared shit out of me because I went through my headset. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you're actually follower number thirty-one. Oh, it's so close to being the rounded so there. Close. Oh well, I've got, I've got, I've, got, I've, I've really hit thirty. I've hit thirty-one now. So thank you very much, Vanga, for your follow. Um, and thank you for your uh, for your input. In oh this yes. Does help us. If you if you do follow us on my Facebook page, Fanga as well, uh, you keep updated with um, when when we go live and things like that. And I'll post when we're going to be putting on um, when we're going to be on after Royal Rumble. Um, most probably be the Tuesday after Rumble um, because obviously. Yeah. Can't, uh, well, obviously with us working, like we normally watch it Monday night, so possibly the Tuesday after Rumble, I think, will be uh, what would be the thirty first, if that's right. Yep, yes, thirty first. We will be doing the post Raw Rumble uh, stream, um, and we'll go back with our eyes like that. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, Hopefully. Because uh, we did this last time, didn't we? Uh, we, t- we, was, we did this on the um, Survivor <laughs> Series one, didn't we? We thought we were going to be sitting, either coming back on the post stream like that, or like that. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, we oh, came back God. like that. <laughs> um, especially with that main event match. That was just that, that was, that, beautiful. Um, but do follow us on Facebook. You'll see the links that Moobot has clicked on for you. Um, Follow us on, subscribe to us on uh, YouTube as well. Uh, there'll be loads. There's loads of other videos on YouTube as well. Um, bits of us too, as well. Bits of us too that we did. Uh, lo- uh, loads, loads of videos on there. I've got over, over about nearly 50 videos on there for you to watch. Uh, so make sure you subscribe there. Um, <laughs> there's lots of links down below. Not down below on this one because we're live on Twitch at the moment, not on YouTube. I don't know if you know, I don't know if you noticed that because uh, normally we, when we do these um, these prediction videos, we normally uh, do, we do them live on live on YouTube. Uh, but I thought today we'd do it on do it on Twitch. We don't on Twitch. We have a change. Have a change. Do it on a bit of Twitch. Uh, on Twitch. Um, oh yeah, I know Mubot goes nuts with them links. Uh, yeah, so as soon as you hit so as soon as uh, so many lines of chat come through, it chucks in another link. Um, that's how I've sort of done it for myself. Um, He's gone for uh, subliminal advertising every thirty seconds. Um, <laughs> obviously, if you if you did want to subscribe to the Twitch channel, there is a link there to Game Wisp, but um, that's not a um, that's not a compulsory one. If you obviously you're following, that's just if you like to help help me out with the stream and things like that. Dan has his own channel, but there's soda on it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I literally just pawn off of your one. Don't he I? does, Literally. yeah. He, he he always pawns off my channel. Um, yeah. But it, no, it, I know it, people have searched for me. For those it, that yeah. are gonna look. It, it, I yeah. know that the searches have come through, but there is. Uh, I say if you moment. do, if you do want to have a look on Dan's Twitch channel and things like that, it is Nightwing <laughs> two five ninety. You will click on there and it will have no picture, no bio. On it at all, <laughs> but if you want to follow Dan, then go to his link. <laughs> um, I say when when you go, if you ever look at my YouTube um, YouTube videos, there are links in the descriptions below for other things. Um, cheap games on G two A. If you go through the link, if you go through that link, it helps me out as well. If you buy a game through G two A through my link, um, there's a link as well for X Split as well. If you want to get into streaming yourself. Uh, to get a copy of XSplit broadcast and things like that, that helps me out as well. Um, Button Bash Gaming, there's a link down there as well. If you want any cheap um, 
gaming accessories, headsets, uh, controllers, grips, anything like that. Um, all the links are in the YouTube descriptions. Is there anything else you would like to say, Dan? Try and promote your useless channel? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm done, mate. <laughs> okay. Um, do that, see fuck all. <laughs> Please do, please do. It does. It helps me as well. It helps me recognise I should probably start doing something myself, <laughs> rather than sitting and pawning off your channel. Yeah, but no, I mean, there's there's loads of videos on YouTube. I mean, um, me and Dan have done a few things. We've done tin can challenges. We've done uh, there's a car against humanity video on there. Um, so yeah, so thanks, Fanger, for being in the stream. Thank you, yeah, Dan, thank you. once again. Um, for fuck's sake, move bot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I, I think change that setting. I, I think, think I need to change the settings on move bot. I think <laughs> <laughs> um, this video. I will be sorting this video out, and this will be chucked onto YouTube as well. Once I've edited, it, well, once I've sorted it and edited it, it will be slammed onto YouTube as well, put in the playlist. So thank you very much, guys, and we will see you next time. Ta-ra!